Round two, the debrief. <laughs> the debrief. And we're back. And we're back. With a camera this time. I've been recording the entire time on my angle, but... Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so we can just watch Joe's face. So here's what happened. We just kind of realized the camera wasn't recording, so we're just restarting now that the camera's recording. And uh, so, yeah, what are we going to talk about on the debrief this week? We're well, not selling kids. We're not and Rick's selling not in jail. kids. Rick's not in jail. At least I don't think he is. I haven't talked to him since this morning, so that possibility's always out there. Yeah. Um, one thing that I wanted to clear up is I think that we should do like a thorough explanation of what you know the hell is going on in the show in case the jokes are getting a little too inside, specifically with Rick Gold and the new Rick Gold. The new Rick Gold, the new old Rick Gold, the original Rick Gold. When a I lot was of Rick Gold, when I'm saying it in the episode, and like I realized that I didn't know how to articulate it myself, and then I just used that. In making it really not articulate when I say it, <laughs> it's just a giant mess. So that's, but that's part of why I feel like maybe we should explain it. Yeah. So Ian Esty is the person that we know as Rick Gold for the last eight weeks. Yeah, he's been in all the videos. But previous to that, there was a different Rick Gold, and it's the character's kind of based on how Rick Daggle lives his life, and he doesn't sell kids either. <laughs> for though that's one thing we made up that that part's fictional he does give away cats though he does well no he collects cats oh he collects, he collects them. Okay. cats he gives away computers okay so if you have a cat you want to trade for a computer or if you need some newspaper or spaghetti sauce <laughs> go see Rick Dale <laughs> yeah so anyways he's uh we had this show five or six years ago or man it's probably longer than that now seven or eight years ago that we made the very first YouTube thing called the Great Scott Show and Rick Gold was a character in that and in like one episode, he ran his own um, recording studio out of a tent in his backyard. Nice. And in another episode... And was Rick Daggle, sorry, was Rick Daggle right in, in those videos as well? Oh, yeah, he played oh, nice. a character back then, okay, but he right, doesn't right. have time to do it now, and he's not really like, he's not really an actor. He was entertaining back on the show, but I don't think he's good at the improv stuff. Yeah. So we just, we decided that um, we needed somebody who could be there for almost every Sunday, so... Ian's character, or the way Ian is in real life, felt like a good match for that character. Yeah, Ian does a good job. But in the very first episode of the show, I said something about Rick Gold's avatar, and it's been nagging at me for eight weeks that we have to get that Rick Gold's avatar in there before it loses any kind of making sense at all. Yeah, yeah. So that's what Rick Daggle was there to do this week. And uh, again, he's not selling kids. (laughs) (laughs) Keep that clear. Uh, So James is on vacation. He's gone this week and next week. And uh, it's a better show because of it. No. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's a better show. Actually, the reason why it's a better show now that happened to coincide with James being on vacation is that Mark is now kind of officially helping us out with this to some capacity, writing-wise, and like with regular appearances on the show, whenever we can't find anyone else. Yeah, speaking Mark's of writing. Person we'll call. Oh, nice. Yeah, no, that sounds speaking good to of me. Ri- I want to bring this up now. What's that? How was last Friday's writing meeting? Mark? Uh, not great. Never even not, thought of that. Didn't get a lot of writing done. <laughs> um, we did come up with a lot of funny ideas, but they were mostly centered at that Cards Without Humanity game. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah these guys uh, these guys lured me over to their house for a, uh, a writing it's session, so- and they weren't there. And uh, they were in cahoots with my wife for, with a surprise party for my birthday. So those listening on the radio and on who don't know what's going on, it was Mark's birthday last week. Yeah. And his wife decided to get all of his friends, and apparently it's all the people he just met in the last six months. Yeah. <laughs> Three months. Three months. Yeah. So he gets all of his friends, he can, he can uh, over to his house and have a surprise party for him. And uh, she was messaging us on Facebook for about three, two weeks. And then, yeah. coincidentally, get- Adam, take from here. Yeah, coincidentally, when she messaged me, I had the second time to say parties in a week. I had realized that I had double booked with you and that we were planning on doing a writing meeting that Friday. So I just said to her, I was like, is it at all helpful that he thinks he's coming here at 8 o'clock for a writing meeting? <laughs> yeah. She's like, yes, that's perfect. It's perfect, yeah. So we came up with the plan from there. But it was a little bit messy because it was one of those group chats on Facebook. And I was worried, like, we were all worried that some of the people didn't get the message properly because the time kept changing of when I was going to tell you to show up. Like, originally it was 8 and then she told people to come at 8.30. And then I said, well, that's not that's too big of an overlap, so I'll say 8.15. But then at like 10 after 8, some guy said he was on his way there. And, and you we, hadn't left yet? And you hadn't left yeah, yet. Yeah, I was we, still there. We, yeah. I think it was... Um, Kyle? 
No, it was Nick. 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 Yeah, yeah, Nick. Yeah. Nick said he was on his way. So yeah. Yeah. Nick's I'm, always early. I'm, I'm, Nick's I'm like, always early. And I was like, can't we stop? Can't you stall? Can't you pull over? I'm like, is he in a cab? Yeah. Can you not ask the driver to pull over for a second? Nick's okay. always early, man. Anytime Nick and Just I are doing it. anything, I, I'm <laughs> coming down in a towel and answering the door for Nick. That's, Nick, you're, you're always early to, to us because you're right on time. I'm right on time. That's early to us. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. We made it on time. Well, that's he drove me to the radio show today, and we beat Joe first time that's happened in a long time. Okay. Yeah, because because well, I didn't have a lot. It's to a do holiday, it. no, and really. certain stores are back. open today. What's that? It's a holiday, and a certain store isn't open today. Yeah, they won't let me in the liquor store. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> I tried. Uh, right now on the air, so we have it on some sort of record. Sure. Can I post a hidden video on YouTube on the Hopeland channel of you coming up the driveway? And we'll link it in this. Oh, sure. I don't care. Yeah. Oh, it's fine by me. Any footage you get of me, you can use. I don't care. <laughs> well, now. Any, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm standing by it. I'm standing by it. able to put like, cameras in your bathroom. Do it. <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm not ashamed. I did, I'm trying to do that. I'm just saying anybody yeah. out well, there Well, it sounded listening. like you were. Yeah, I know. I realized that. Right after to the bathroom, I said you know I realized mean? that after I said it. But yeah. I was like, well, wait a second. That First be, thing it went to. That could be construed. <laughs> you, you don't want to watch me like make cheese with and toast. You were like right to the, right no, to I was the just, bathroom. I was, it was a, yeah, but yeah. it was to like open your mind to the realities, you know, to the possibilities. Right. Put him on his deck, the even... fine deck. Yeah, that's a good deck. Yeah, let's <laughs> not <laughs> talk about the deck because I'm having a good day. I don't want to get all worked up about it. Yeah. The good thing about that deck is even if it does fall down, it's strapped to the house and it's not going. It's go not going to go anywhere all the way down. Yeah, yeah. it's not going to go anywhere. So next week we have to. I wanted to mention that there's probably going to be some kind of big cliffhanger. And the week after that, there probably won't be an episode. And maybe, maybe not the week after that either. I hope not. We'll do our best to get back on track. But the Fundy Fringe Festival is going to screw screw us up for at least a week and possibly two. What are you going to do with the, the radio show those weeks? Um, I think we can still do them. I. Yeah, we yeah the, the French festival doesn't. It's like Wednesday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah it's not, right. it doesn't so go can, over. To we the won't Monday. have to miss any of the radio shows. Oh, you know what we should do? What we should do another one of those um, bastard piece theaters. The one did you? I don't know if we ever told you about that. Like right, there was two weeks in between when when we decided to stop doing the radio show the way it was, and when we started up the new format and everything. Yep. That we just filled the with you know filled it up with nothing, and there was one of the weeks where we took movie scripts. And uh, just read chunks of them. We are, <coughs> okay, we are I heard you guys characters. talking about that. It <clears> turned <throat> out surprisingly good. Nice. But the only way we can do that is if Steve's here, because his versatility voice-wise is the best thing about it. Yeah, nice. He sounded, a, especially the Big Lebowski, he played the Big Lebowski like the old dude, and his voice was bang on. Like, you could put it, you could probably replace it in the movie and nobody would notice. <laughs> oh, nice. It was awesome. Yeah, I didn't know Steve does voices. He's really good at him. He yeah. was uh, one he of the first... Told, he told you at your party... But yeah. were you... What time? What time was this? Uh, two. Yeah, two a.m. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I told you guys a lot of stuff at two a.m. too, and I don't you remember did. any of it. Uh, so I remember. Do, when did, I... did, did you remember the, our conversation about opening a studio for doing voiceover work? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, how, how do we make out? Are we opening one? Uh, apparently, sweet. sweet. All right, I'm, sweet. I'm on deck. You know, I'm on. I'm, I'm down for it, but yeah. I certainly don't remember it. Yeah. Um, You're going to have to fill me in on that uh, after he, the show. He did a show when a, a few years ago. They did a dead musician show. They sometimes do it on Halloween. They'll have like different bands come in and pretend that they're a band where one of the members has died or all the members have died. Oh, okay. Yeah, and yeah. in between the bands, he did stand-up comedy, but he like imitated like Mitch Hedberg and Andy Kaufman. And there was a third one I can't remember. Oh, He's nice. Like, bang on. Yeah, he, yeah. He do like exact interpretations of them. I mean, in that case... He obviously wasn't writing the material. Right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. It was it was pretty cool because everybody knew what they were getting. It wasn't a traditional stand up thing. It was just five minutes in between bands, but he yeah. would, like could do their best bits and he was doing. He but was he's doing impressions of comics. That's awesome. Yeah, and it was yeah. it was spot on. And there was one of them like uh, this was like I say this was seven or eight years ago, and it was uh, well maybe five years ago, and one of the ones he did the uh, Andy Warhol or not Andy Warhol Andy Kaufman. Yeah. So, did I say Warhol yeah, the first yeah. time? Yeah. No, you didn't on the first time. Okay, well, it's good. Yeah, this, I mean, the very, it was Andy Kaufman that he was doing. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I didn't, I'd never heard him before, and I went back and watched him on the internet, and I was like, man, this is exactly like what Steve was doing. Yeah, that's a tough one to hit down, too, Kaufman. Yeah. Yeah. He's a really weird character. Yeah. He's doing, like, very all, specific, the, all the Mighty uh, Mouse stuff. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that exists on video. 
which is oh you guys didn't capture it no this was years ago oh this, yeah. was, this was just at a halloween like concert oh just thing. messing around no it was at a concert it was like at the mediterranean there does was it predate oh, no like like a... hoveland yeah yeah you know what it does actually because he they this is even weirder him and his friend troy made a commercial for their for this show they made like a little youtube commercial for it and that was the thing that got me and got the, that sparked the idea in my head that we could be comedy writers, I think, because it was hilarious. <laughs> and now when I talked to Steve, apparently it was there was parts of it that were messed up and it didn't. It went out way too fast. Like the, the it's all sped up. The dialogue's all sped up, and they yeah. couldn't. This was a few years ago when computer programs weren't so easy to use, and they couldn't figure out how to fix their footage. But I thought it was super funny because it was sped up. I think yeah. it was on purpose. Anyways, that's all stuff that nobody would ever understand. Speaking of stand-up comedy, <laughs> but, uh, how did No Jokes Bad go? No Jokes Bar went good. It's a typical our bar show where there were a bunch of drunks there. You know what I mean? And uh, But it was... Uh, I had a I had a good set. Um, all the comics did well. It was a great crowd, like 50 people there. It was a good show. Which, if you know the our bar, you can't fit a whole lot more than 50 in there. No. Uh, that's about the point where it starts to... like It's just slightly on the uncomfortable side. I'm you not even sure what their more, rating is for the fire yeah. marshal. <laughs> What's that? What their what their rating is for? Yeah, they got to be pushing it close. Some of the nights where there's like twenty five people standing, they got to be pushing it close. Yeah, I I was really hung over for that show, like Never really hung over. I was just glad I survived it. It turned out really good for me. So yeah, I'm saying, really man, I told you that yesterday. Your character, or the way that you are on stage, the, the more that you have that can naturally aggravate you. I yeah, could only imagine that that would add to. Yeah, usually I I try to like stub my toe before I go up there. Yeah. <laughs> Just bring so, a hammer and just... Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. No, it was a good show. It or you could really just well. like call call a call center. I shouldn't say that specifically. Call any call center <laughs> and just, you know, do that right before you go up on stage. Yeah. Spend like 10 minutes on the phone trying to get your, your you know, $10 back on your phone bill. Uh, I'm married. I, I'm <laughs> married. I don't make those calls. But this, no, I'm saying use it for fuel. Yeah. Right? Do that. Get yourself like, ah, oh, just smash the phone down. I got to do something. Yeah. Because my toes are getting really swollen. That might make a really good stand up bit. Do that on stage. Call customer service and try to get something done. Oh, okay. Joe, do you have any suggestions for me uh, for my comedy set, too? Or maybe I'll go out in the hall and see if I anyone else has any yours. ideas. I know a lot of comedians. I could sell oh, okay. that to any one of them. I okay. well, gave you a bunch, but I think you were drinking and you forgot them. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And if nobody takes it, I'll that sounds do it. About right. How's that sound? I'll just do it. Yeah, why don't you do it? When are you going to do a stand up set? Maybe, that, maybe that's what I'll do. And I'll go up and I'll call a customer service line. We're wrapping it. All right. Yeah. We're getting close. I'm saying wrap it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you know what? Bye. One thing no one's mentioned this week. Underwear. We're on? Yep. All right, this is the debrief. The debrief. The debrief. So, yeah, that was a... That was a fun week. That was a good, good radio show. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. He's uh, probably an improvement from James, like a little... It's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, um, James. James can't be here because he's on vacation, and he won't be here next week as well. Oh, he won't be here next week either? Nope. Or he might be on the radio show. I don't know. But he's definitely not going to be on next week's episode, except for maybe that little bit. That we accidentally filmed over that we'll have to shoot again. Mm-hmm. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work. But he might be in the episode a little bit, but it'll be by himself in a separate scene. Yeah, yeah. So what are you going to do for next week then? Or you don't know yet? Well, there's other issues too. Is that Ian's having his great big end of the year party thing or middle of the year party thing, I guess. Summer party is what it should be called. <laughs> right. It's probably what it is called. Yeah. Ian's doing that, Rick Gold. So we have to, if we're going to shoot anything next week, it's going to have to be hung over on Sunday out at his place. Yeah. So, and Joe's not there. I'm a little upset missing the party. Where are you going to be, Joe? Marathon by the Sea. Oh, okay. He's not yes, He's now. not running in it, though. Oh, he's not? I, I although say, I run geez. it. Oh, you run it, but not run, it, run in it. Yeah. Yeah, well, you can I say that, though. I run marathon. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. That was going to be a joke in the in the last season. Have James, like, I run marathons. So like, a pickup line to uh, girly legs. Yeah. It just cuts to him standing with, like, a volunteer. You do shirt. this and you do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's good. With I runners like that. Run by. Yeah, yeah. That would be sweet. But I might as well just a quick, a quick PSA. If you're Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, if you runners on the road, they're in an official foot race, which is a Boston Marathon qualifier. Okay. So Sunday morning and afternoon, you see people on the road. 
yield to them, let them go by because they're trying to get the best time they can. What if I'm in a hurry though? What if we're trying to get the best time yeah. we can get, Joe? Exactly. If it's a medical emergency, a meth emergency, medical. Oh, medical. Yeah. Well, I'll say it's a medical emergency. <laughs> All right. Um, Moving on. Moving on. So, yeah. Maybe I was thinking that it might be a good idea to have, like, a kind of thorough explanation of what the heck is going on with the show, just in case the jokes are getting a little too inside. A little too real. Specifically talking about Rick Gold. What is the new Rick Gold? Rick Pyrite, all of this. The old Rick Gold. Oh, yeah. He's not selling kids either. You can't buy kids from us. You can't buy kids from us. Yeah, I would not have been supporting that. You shouldn't buy kids at all. You shouldn't sell kids at all. We're not endorsing selling kids. We did think in this case it was funny, so I don't know how that, you know, is to our karma. <laughs> just just make kids and feed them. Just do have that. Have we been filming, Joe? Yes. Thank God. I would have said start the whole thing over if we weren't. <laughs> I'd have done it. Um, yeah, so Rick Gold... Rick Daggle. Let's 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 refer to them by the real names. There's right. Rick Daggle and there's Ian. And everybody knows Ian from the videos. Yeah, Ian is the Rick is Rick Gold. He's the Rick Gold we've been following for the last eight weeks. This new Rick is the original Rick Gold. We base the character on his real life in a way, except he doesn't sell kids either. <laughs> and uh, he Guess what? what? It wasn't actually recording. It's recording now. Are you serious? Yeah. We we'll started over then. <laughs> Just we're on. Hey. No, come on. It's 8.46. We got lots of time. Yeah. For people listening to it on the radio, you're going to get a special treat of getting to hear close to the same sentences all over again. I'm doing all new stuff. That's what I can't. <laughs> you're doing all oh, new yeah, stuff? I can't, I can't repeat material. All right, fine. Round two, the debrief. <laughs> the debrief. And we're back. And we're back. 